guys, Nick, aka the Winnoy Crisis YT, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream with using the Elgato Game Capture HD with a face cam like I will be over at my Let's Play channel, youtube.com slash Crisis Plays, link in the description. Nevertheless, guys, first off, you're going to need a program called Open Broadcaster Software. I'm not going to go through how to download it. Literally, it is extremely easy. I will, however... Put a link in the description of this video to the program so you guys can go download it for yourselves. Nevertheless, here we have scenes and we have sources and what does all this mean? Well, you don't have to worry about it. None of this is going to be here whenever you download OBS. Both of these are going to be blank. So, we want to right click here in the scene box, add scene. I'm just going to name this tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then over on sources box, we're going to right click, add video capture device and this is going to be our face cam so simply top in face cam okay it's going to then bring up a box in which we can select our webcam now I like to make the webcam square okay now by that I want to make it 640 by 480 that way it's square in the top right hand corner and it's not a rectangle I think it's easier if it's a square and it looks better if it's a square than if it's a rectangle however you might think differently now I'm about to do something I'm going to add a 2000 millisecond buffer to this webcam now you might be like Nick why, why are you doing that why are you doing that we'll get to it here in a second but just know that has to be done so let's go ahead and add that now it's not showing up right here but don't worry I'll show you guys how to make it show up on your screen here in a second first we have to add another source and that other source is going to be the Elgato game capture HD we again want to right click on the sources box add video capture device this is going to be the Elgato and what's up my bad Elgato okay it is then going to come up Elgato game capture HD already selected for me we don't have to do anything else except hit OK now it's still not showing up on your screen. How do we fix it? Simple. Hit preview stream. Now, as you can see, here's the Elgato and it's booting up and all that awesome stuff. But the face cam isn't showing up. Why is it not showing up, Nick? Well, it's because it's not on top over the Elgato. We simply need to right click on the face cam, go down to position, uh, my bad, order, move up. Boom. There's my face cam. Wow, that lighting. Okay, so there we have that. Let's go ahead and put the face cam in the top right hand corner which is where I would recommend for uh, for Call of Duty simply hit edit scene right here and then we can just click on it and uh, when we click edit scene drag and drop it however we want we're gonna put it right here and then move it over to this corner because you know that's the best place for Call of Duty now you'll notice that this webcam is not moving with my voice and the reason for that is because of uh, we have that 2000 millisecond delay the reason we have the 2000 millisecond delay is because that's about how long the Elgato is delayed for OBS to pick it up. Now, let's go ahead and make our microphone that delayed as well. Now we want to go up here to settings, settings, I'm going to go ahead and choose my console streaming profile, encoding, and this is the encoding I use to stream on console. Um, it, as far as bitrate goes, I would recommend half of your upload speed. I have a 4 upload speed. I'm running 1600. I could do 2000. I could do even 3000, 3500 uh, kilobytes. But if you do about half, um, you know, you're not going to lag in games and things like that. And 1600 is HD. So this is 720p HD. I recommend making this the same as that and then making this as high as it can go. It needs to be AAC and then it also needs to be 44.1 kilohertz. So there you go. Moving on to my broadcast settings. No, I do not want to change that. Moving on to my broadcast settings. We're live streaming through twitch.tv. Um, you can Google how to get your Twitch stream key. It's really, really easy. And, uh, you know, simply enter that in there. You can test the server that's closest to you. I would just recommend going with the one that's closest to you. Sometimes I use the, uh, you know, the primary. Sometimes I use the secondary. doesn't really matter. Um, auto connect, I keep that off. This is this copies to where I can just control control V, um, you know, control paste or whatever to uh, simply post it. That'll go to my my clipboard, which means I can just be like bam and, and paste it in there. So yeah, um, a save file. You can save your stream. I don't do this, but you can. And then I have a stream hotkey. So if I hit F9 while um, I'm streaming, it'll start the stream and stop the stream just by me simply hitting F9. 
Moving on to video, you want to keep this custom 1280 by 720 and a downscale of none. And uh, also 30 frames per second. I recommend disabling arrow. It's not disabled right now because fraps won't work. But I recommend disabling arrow. That way you guys can, uh, you know, it won't lag your computer as bad and it'll be really easy to run. Some people can't even run it if they don't disable arrow. I can, but it's really just, you know, I would recommend doing it. Nevertheless, don't downscale at any. That's going to keep your quality great. Moving on to your audio. Default desktop audio is what I like to use. Don't change that pretty much. I would recommend leaving that the same. Select your microphone. For me, that's going to be a blue snowball. For you, it might be a blue Yeti, your Astros, whatever microphone you use. And this is where the webcam uh, 2,000 millisecond delay comes in. You need to add a mic offset of 2,000 milliseconds. That is extremely important if you want your face cam and your mic audio to sync up. If, if you don't do that, it's not going to sync up and you're going to have major problems with audio. I recommend keeping all of this exactly how it is. Do not copy my settings here. A lot of this is set up, this is also set up for YouTube streaming and uh, you have to do some changes here to uh, allow yourself to stream on YouTube. But if you're streaming to Twitch, all of this is perfectly fine. Microphone noise gate, we do not use that. So. There you guys have it. That is how you live stream on Twitch.tv. Um, I was going to go full face cam here, but it looks like it's not going to pull up because that's a fail. Anyway, there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there we go. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'm CrisisYT, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here are two videos you guys may have missed. On the left is Crisis Craft, you know, that weekly Minecraft series in which I sit down, play some Minecraft for, you know, 30 40 minutes or so and, and have fun. Go check that video out. I actually put a lot of work into it. It took like six hours to render, an hour to edit. Go check it out. It's it's awesome. Also, the video on the right is a tutorial that some of you may need, some of you may not need. It's how to make a straight line in Photoshop. I got asked about that question like three or four times, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make a tutorial on it because apparently no one knows how to do it, so I'm gonna just tell people how to do it, and then I can send them this video. But nevertheless, go check that video out if that's something you need. If not, and you've seen both of those videos, you probably haven't seen the Crisis Hub video for today, which I am also in. It is Crisis Craft, or CTV Craft, Episode 6. So go check that out. It's actually really, really good. Me and uh, my friend Patrick sit down, play some Minecraft, and have fun. So nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to answer today's question of the day. What do you want to see me? What do you want to learn how to do in OBS? I'm Crisis YT, and I'm out, guys. Peace.